hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to trade with candlestick weeks so let's start this is euro usd the trend is downtrend the major trend is downtrend the minor trend is downtrend look at this rejection the sellers are there the sellers are this area so let's see for the buyers we know this area as buyers area i can see some rejection here from buyers that means the buyers are present that means the buyers are present and it's at the buyers area i'm going to place call option i place call option here because it's at the buyers area the price now is at the buyers area you can see the buyers entry from this level why the sellers are here now the price now is at the buyers area you can see here there's a gap to this level still far from the sellers why this one is very close to the buyers now buyers will enter on the next candle that's why i place call option here buyers entered here and here sellers entered sellers entered from this level you can see this rejection and on the left side on the left side it is a level so right now i'm going to place a call option i place call option here because it's still far from the sellers entry from the sellers entry here there's a gap to this level and it's still far so buyers again we feel this gap you can see here it's very close to the buyers entry so at this time it will not go down buyers why it is very far from this level so buyers again we feel this gap that's why this call option again sellers entered here and buyers entered here and sellers entered here we know this is a level this is a level okay you can see it's very far from buyers and here sellers again change their entry to this level and this is a level two it's very far from buyers that means the sellers will enter i place put option here because if you look at it here it's very close from buyers entry here why here it is very far from buyers and the trend too is downtrend so the next candle here will be bearish and this is a level there's a level here where this candle close so sellers will still enter on the next candle that's why i place put option the sellers change their entry to this level and here the buyers change their entry to this level sellers are here buyers are here okay and this is a level it's very close to the buyers it's to the sellers and it's very far to the buyers okay right here now i'm going to place put option I place put option here because the trend is downtrend. I'm following the trend, the major trend. And here is very close to this level. Why is it far from this level? And this is bearish candle. And there's a gap to this level. So this level now is a resistance level on the left side. So that means the sellers again will still feel this gap. That's why I place put option. Again, they change their entry to this level why buyers change their entry to this level so they will be rejected from this level and close as bearish okay okay buyers enter okay this is a losing trade for me so right now i will place the trade again i'll place two more trades 
because I can see a quick bias. So I think because of that quick bias, that's why I lost the trade. This is bias area here and it's very close to the bias. I'm going to place call option. I place call option here that this is I place call option because this is bias area on the left side and buyers entered here, sellers entered here and there's a gap to the buyers entry here so there's a very close to the buyers why it's still far from the sellers so buyers will enter from this level and this is uptrend okay so it will form it will close as bullish candle let me place one more trade now the sellers entered here why the buyers entered here and we know this is bias area there's no bias i'm going to place put option i place put option here because there's no sign of bias here though then the sellers we entered on the next candle here i place put option here because the sellers are here the buyers are here after this candle buyers should enter but there's no sign of bias so sellers will enter the gate and the major trend is downtrend that's why i place put option okay so i will stop from here okay let me explain the trade i place call option here because this is a level this is a level and we can see that buyers enter from here so this is buyers area now the candle is very far from the buyers and here is very you now the candle is very close to the buyers and here is still far from the sellers so buyers we try to fill this gap here that's why I place call option and here I place call option here because buyers are now here buyers are here sellers are here it's very close to the buyers area and it's still far from the sellers area so buyers again we feel this gap and this gap that's why I place call option and here I place put option because the sellers are here the buyers are here the sellers are here the buyers are here and again it's very far from the buyers entry point here and it's very close to the sellers entry point so the next candle here will be bearish in the direction of the trend that's why i place put option here and this one it gave me a loss in trade because of fast momentum quick buyers entry so it happened like that most of the time so uh, it should have closed as bearish candle board because of the pressure from buyers to form bullish candle here it closed as bullish candle if not for the pressure of buyers or fast momentum it will close as bearish but because of strong buyers it closed as bullish now buyers i lost the trade because of fast momentum and here i place call option i place call option here because the sellers are here and the buyers are here and on the left side you can see some buyers entry here buyers entered buyers entered some buyers entry but not as strong that's why it's close here as doji can you see the sellers are here the buyers are here it's very close to the buyers area why is still far from the sellers area and the trend is uptrend so buyers again will fill the gap that's why i place call option and here i place put option because this can do there's no sign of sellers and we know that this is sellers entry here why this is buyers entry here in decision candle between buyers and sellers there's no sign of buyers to form bullish candle so sellers again we entered on the next candle in the direction of this trend okay so like this you can place your trade in the direction of the trend i place total total c straight one is otm because of my mistake and or because of market okay so it's happened like that okay this is how you can place your trade with candlestick rejection by observing the market you don't trade only on candlestick rejection observe the levels too the levels too are very much important while you are taking trade on candlestick rejection and again observe the motion the rejection when it is formed okay if you like my video like share and subscribe thank you